Hello everyone, welcome to DG Bytes. I am Vapu Gupta, your Alteryx expert. And today we are going to learn about another interesting use case of Alteryx. We are going to learn that how data from three different data sets can be combined together from a single Excel sheet. Then why wait, let's start. Starting, let's understand how our data set looks like. So if you see in the Excel sheet here, we have three different tables. Table one, which has employee ID, employee name, and employee phone number. Table two, which has employee ID and employee salary. Table three, which has employee ID and employee city. We want to combine all these data sets together and only want data of those employees which are common in all three tables. So first of all, you can see here, there are three different things. First is, if you see the table one has started from column one and row four. If you see table two, it has started from column C and row 28. And similarly, if you see table three, it has started from row 47 and column B. So all of them have a different orientation within the sheet. So for a normal scenario, it will be difficult to pick this data, but we will understand in simple small steps that how we can combine these data sets all together. Let's start. You can see now the familiar screen of Alteryx. Let's drag the input data tool here. Then I will go to the file selection and select .xlsx file. And from here, I will take the employee data table .xlsx. Now, what I will do is, I will select this sheet by default. And you can see here in the data that we have all three tables together here. But between them, whatever the different spaces were there, so we have null data over there. Now what I will do is, I will drag here the record ID tool. So what this record ID tool will do is, it will assign a record ID to each of these different data sets that we are here. So if you see here, from record one, till the last table we have record ID for all the records. Now table 1 corresponds between record ID 1 to 13. So now I will put a filter here and I will select record ID less than 14. So if you see now, I have the table one ready with me, but I do not need this record ID column and this F4 column, which is created due to the orientation of second table, which was till column D, E or something. So now what I will do is, I will use a select tool and remove record ID and F4 column from here. And if I run it now, so my data one is perfectly ready. Now, second thing what I will do is, from the second filter data, now I need record ID between 24 to 20, 37. So now I will put another tool and I will say record ID greater than 23 and record ID less than 38. So if I run it now, I have the relevant data for the second table but 
you see uh, we have the column name as record id employee id employee name we do not want to do this so for that what i will do is i will drag another tool which is dynamic rename and what i will do is i will select take field names from the first row of data. So when I do this, I will and run this. What will happen here is that employee ID and employee salary name has been selected from the first row and for other columns uh, as there were no values in the first row. So they have been by default named as field six, field seven and uh, for this particular row ID column, the value 24 picked as a column name. Now I do not need these first three columns. So I again drag in the select tool here and will remove the first three columns. And now if I run it, so my table two is ready, my table one is ready. Now I need to get the table three from the remaining data. So again, I can now use the filter tool or I can also use the sampling tool to filter the data. But in this case, it's easy. Let's use the filter tool. Now again, what I will do is I will place this record ID and let's say at which record ID they are. So it's from 43 to 53. So I will simply uh, write Record ID should be greater than 42. Now if I run it. So you see here we have these employee ID and employee city here, but again the column names are not correct. So again we will get the dynamic rename and select table field names from the first row of data and if I run it so I have the correct data with me I will remove this field this field and this field so again select I remove this this and this now my data set is ready now I have to combine these data sets together so I will go to the join tools and drag in the join tool combining first two here based on employee ID as the column names are different it was not selected by default then what I will do another join tool the output of this tool and the output of this one again employee ID and now if I run this, I will have all the data sets, but you see employee ID have been repeated three times. So in the first join itself, I should remove the extra employee ID. And in the second join also, I should remove the extra employee ID because though both the left and the right uh, data sets have the employee ID available. So now if I run it, I can see the data of all the three tables in the combined form, employee ID, employee name, employee phone, employee salary, and employee city. So we see the data of only those employees which are available in all three tables. So in this way, from the single data sheet, we can get the all the data sets from all the tables together from a single sheet. And there are many other ways we can do this, but this is the most simpler way which can be utilized for combining these data sets from a single sheet. If you have any doubts or any more suggestions, you can mention in the comments or if you want to make us to create video with other topics, so you can mention those topics in the comments as well. Thank you everyone for watching our video and please do subscribe our channel if you like our video.